Hi there, this is Ben, uh, Ben Bartell, a vegetable product specialist. Um, today we're going to kind of go over some of the setup on ATTA. So, I'm coming onto the screen here. Um, if you watched our previous podcast, um, kind of like I said, that's an advanced setting. Um, so you're already going to have like the boundary and stuff pre-populated in there. Um, the next thing you're going to want to do is go to menu in the lower right, applications, and then auto track turn automation. So um, this is going to be where you actually turn it on and start setting stuff up. So go ahead and flip it on. Um, it's going to kind of go through this is the status of everything. So if there's something not right, obviously it's going to say not ready. But if there's something not, it'll tell you where to go. So here's a quick link. So one thing is for this to work, we have to have an interior headland or an interior boundary basically. So there's two different ways we can do that. We can either do a constant offset. So what this will do, say we'll do one planter pass across or around the field. It'll do it across the whole um, field. So now if we were to do like a top and bottom. So <clears throat> obviously here in the picture you can see um, the yellow arrows pointing to the right. That's going to be our top and the other one's going to be our bottom. So if you come here, you can change the offset. So you can have a 40 foot and then an 80 foot if you want to do two passes on the uh, downward side. And it kind of creates a little picture there for you. But for the demonstration, we're just going to do 240 feet because you can kind of see there's our two headland, two headlands. Um, we're going to go ahead and hit save here. Okay, boom, that completed that. Now we must have a guidance track. So again, we'll click into that. I already have one set up, but this is where you can go in and collect new track, um, A plus B, A plus heading, um, boundary track, whatever, whatever suits your fancy. Um, so in there, grab that track, hit OK. You can see everything populates. Then we'll go, boom, we have ready. That's all there is to it. And then here is where you can really dial in um, how you want it to turn, the speeds, um, how big of a turn you want it to do. Obviously, the, it kind of shows you the higher number, the larger. The smaller number, the smaller the turn. Um, but we're all set to go across the field and see what it does.